Hey, what's up guys? It's Andy here at HQ Goalie Mask Collector. We are looking to sell a few of these Game War masks. Open to offers. If you guys are interested, let's take a look quickly at some of the masks here. We've already done some in-depth videos of each mask. This one, pretty cool. 2004 World Cup. Marty Brader gold metal mask. Made by, I'm putting it down so I can see the back. Made by Lefebvre. So you see Lefebvre there, sponsored by CCM. And then we got this one autographed by Marty. I'm going to put down my phone and I'll show you guys. Oh, no, it's right there. We got this one autographed by Marty last year. That's pretty cool. And it inscribed gold 2004. The date of the gold game. Right there. September 14th. Doug Favell, Philadelphia Flyers, first ever painted mask in the NHL history. This is one historical piece, man. So it was painted as a prank on Halloween in 1970. And it was painted all orange as a prank. And then I guess uh, it stuck. And there's a crazy story behind this mask. It's all on their website. It was uh, at the Hall of Fame. The Hockey Hall of Fame and it was stolen and the person who stole it brought it back but it was painted as a clown on it and then there was some work done to, to just recover the initial artwork that was on there so this here you have the sunburst first ever painted mask in the NHL history that is crazy look at how old this foam is and the mask inside truly historical piece fucking amazing Yeah, all these masks are listed pretty expensive on our website, but we're willing to work with you guys. Just send us your offer. Whatever is reasonable, we'll consider it. You see the chin has some significant damage. Huh, you see some fiberglass or... I'm not sure. No, this is just some tape that was put on top of it. It's like the oldest mask I've ever seen. 1970. We're almost like... 50 years now after this mask was initially worn look at all the paint that's on here that's chipped off it's crazy this is this is like an artifact man it's not even just a regular mask anymore truly a historical piece Doug Favelle that's available and then we have Eddie Belfour's last mask with the Toronto Maple Leafs. This was worn for one game only, which is his last game with the Leafs. I don't remember which year it was. I think 2006, but it eludes me right now. All the information's on the website. We have an in-depth video about this mask as well. Action Glitter. So you see all the information there, carbon fiber, Kevlar. And it was made in 2006 by Gary Warwick and painted by Armor Graphics. You guys like my slider action here? Yep. <laughs> This mask is pretty cool. It's a game ready mask. Not game worn. Made to the specifications of John Van Beesbrook's mask. And this one is already sold. A client has it on payment plan. So sorry fellas. This one is a goner. But it's getting paid off slowly. So we do offer payment plans. And that's a great way of securing a mask. 
I know they're expensive. I know you don't have cash lying. Not everybody has cash lying around just like that. So that's why we offer the payment plans. You could secure your mask and you know, just take a few months to pay it off. And then we ship it out once the balance is clear. And then we have some other game ready mask. This one is at Belfort. Custom made by Gary Warwick in 1999 for Ed Belfort and Dallas Stars. At Belfort Pro Style. I believe this one's painted by Amiska. You got his signature there. You got Eddie's autograph on the eagle. Once again, Eddie with the Sparkle games. Jeez, man. That fucking looks good. One of my favorite Eddie Belfour masks. Fucking badass, the gold one. That's the one he wore when he... Uh, the, the style he wore when he won the Stanley Cup with Dallas, too. So that's a really cool one. And then, right beside it, we have the dark green version. Also autographed by Eddie on the eagle here. The dark green with some gold specks in it. Miska mask. I'm gonna put down the phone a bit and just take off the the bag inside. So this one at Bill for Pro Style. It's a Warwick sticker here. Custom made by Gary Warwick. 1998 at Belfort. Look how thin that foam is. Once again, fucking historical piece, this one. 20 years, man. Already. So yeah, we got those game worn ready to go. Uh, open to any offers. If it's reasonable, just send it to us and we will consider anything. This is Andy from Goalie Mask Collector and I'm checking it out.